How is palm oil produced? At the mill, the fresh fruit bunches are processed to separate them into functional components. Bunches arrive at the mill, are checked for quality and selected in different grades. Suppliers of dirty or overripe bunches are paid less, and bad quality bunches are rejected. The major factors that will determine the quantity of oil is the ripeness of the fresh fruit bunch. Processing of a fresh fruit bunch will give 32% effluent, 23% empty bunches, and 45% of a mixture of kernels, fibers, and oil. Bunches are treated with steam to kill bacteria and stop enzyme activity. This way, degradation is stopped. At the same time, fruits are weakened which helps to release the oil. After the steam treatment, the fruit mass which contains water, oil, fibers and palm kernels is treated to separate all components. The fruit is pressed under high pressure just like olives to squeeze out the oil and water. Pressing results in an oil-water mixture and a press cake. As oil and water do not mix after some time, the palm oil will form an oil layer on top of the water. The oil is separated by phase separation. What results is a crude palm oil which needs further processing at a palm oil refinery. The so-called crude oil is stored in big tanks and from there transported to refineries around the world. Empty fruit bunches are used as fuel to make compost. The empty fruit bunches are dried in case they are used to generate heat for the steam boiler. Most fruit bunches are composted, microorganisms break down the biomass and produce a nutrient-rich compost which is used in the plantation. It increases soil fertility by giving nutrients and also helps to retain water. The kernels are transported to a palm kernel mill to extract the palm kernel oil. Such a mill is specially built to be able to crush the hard kernels.